Welcome to the Team Fortress Friday Halloween Edition! <laughs> Hey, so greetings and salutations, everybody. My name is Axe, as always, and it is time for another episode of Team Fortress Friday, and today is Saturday. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I am really sorry. I'm not, I'm not really sorry. I'm sorry, but, you know, in the reality, family and friends stuff kind of comes first. Uh, that's just how I am. So, yeah, uh, I had a lot of stuff with family and friends. I'm doing that, and that kind of took priority, but it's okay. It's Saturday. It's fine. It's Team Fortress Friday. It's a scary Halloween edition. It only comes once a year, people, so prepare. Prepare yourself for the epic commentary. Uh, before I get into it, though, I do want to give a quick little shout out to uh, Ryan Paintball 100 for gifting me, well, gifting me, giving me this rain blower, which he had name tagged uh, "Taste the Rainbow." Now, I will never ask you for stuff, and honestly, I feel kind of bad taking your stuff. You know what I mean? If anybody, I've had a few people offer me some uh, things, and I'm very appreciative though for what you do. But again, guys, don't feel like you have to give me stuff because I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy, you know what I mean? Uh, but thank you very much for this. It's awesome, so I just had to put in video. Because nothing is more scary than uh, rainbows and Halloween, am I right? Rainbows and fire, that's a pretty good combo. Uh, so I decided to do that. Uh, playing this, the new map, by the way, this new map is really cool. It is the monoculus, not monoculus, what am I saying? I'm wearing the monoculus eye. No, I'm not. It is like Mer Mer Merminus, whatever, I don't even know who his name is. I I'm not even looking at it, so I don't know. <laughs> Into the pit of death. <laughs> this pit is so scary, but it's an awesome map. They basically transform Lakeside into an event. It's called I think like Ghost Island, Ghost Ship or something. I don't know. Anyways, check it out. It's a really fun Halloween update. Enjoy. Uh, it only comes once a year, like I said. So I'll get into the topic. It's been too long of getting into this. I'll get to the topic. So basically, this week's topic is not from anybody. Um, I just felt like I really had a good topic I want to discuss that fit kind of the Halloween scary theme and also fit overall a good Team Fortress Friday fit. Okay, so sorry guys, uh, I'm occasionally I'll do this, I'll just go with my own. But, this week I wanted to talk about the unknown. Now, people can perceive that in many different ways. Uh, what I mean by the unknown is the unknown, this place where um, I think the root of fear comes from in humans. I feel like we fear nothing else. You know, if someone says, what's the thing humans fear most? Somebody's like, oh, spiders, snakes. No, I think we fear uncertainty. We are so afraid of not knowing what to expect, what to do. We are so afraid of the uncertainty that sometimes we'll draw our own conclusions to places without any evidence, without anything, and become arrogant. I feel like uh, my little thing, I guess I always say is, when you close your mind, you open yourself to op uh, ignorance. Arrogance? Ignorance, yes. When you close your mind, you open your mind to arrogance because people get these ideas in their head. Ignorance, I'm sorry, not arrogance. That's too early, I swear. Uh, people get these ideas in their head that it must be one way, it must be this, because they don't want to think of what could be. Uh, I feel like in many ways, uncertainty is what makes us fear, let's say, relationships, makes us fear uh, work, school, jobs, hobbies, even. I know I'm... There's been times I've been dead scared doing YouTube. Uh, that might sound stupid for somebody so low as me, but when I did my first video with Double, um, man, I damn near pissed myself. I mean, I was really, uh, I was freaking out because it, I, I didn't, I, what do people think of me? What, I, you know, people dislike me? This is something I love to do. What, and it, just that fear took me, and it's because I didn't know what to expect. If I knew, like when I put out a video normally, I kind of know what to expect. I kind of know the basic view and basic things, the basic comments, etc. And so to me, that's not very frightening. Like this, I don't really, you know, you guys are awesome. I love you all. Um, yeah, I do. And uh, <laughs> it's easy to do. But when I do a video on a bigger channel or a different topic, I'm afraid of that. You know, you let yourself out there. I feel like people, I know I've done it. Where there have been some so and so, let's say you're interested in somebody, or you have a friendship that you kind of want to pursue, but you're like, no, I can't work, you know, th this and this and this, and you just don't, you know, oh, I don't really want to get it. You know, what if something goes wrong? And it's like that's exactly it. We this unknown place with us as humans is the biggest thing that we fear. It's the biggest thing that consumes us and takes us in, and honestly, destroys relationships and friendships, and it destroys life experiences. Let's say somebody offers to do this or hey you want to go kayaking at this lake oh no you know, i don't really want to you know, or do you want to go on this road trip you know who knows where we're going who knows what it oh no it's fine 
and it really limits your life. So in many ways, uh, uncertainty, I think, is a thing that once you overcome it, you can do nearly anything. Once you realize the fact of saying, you know what, I don't care. This may or may not be good for me. I don't know. But, you know, I got to go try. I got to do this. I got to try. I got to get out there and do it. Um, I think that's how you kind of conquer fear in general. I feel like that is by far the best way to deal with it. The best way to confront fear is to just say, you know what? I don't know what's going to happen, but forward, you know, forward march and just keep going on. Um, so I guess I guess that's honestly the topic I want to say. Uh, you know, biggest thing, guys, in life, uh, one lesson for you in this video, uh, doubt your doubts and believe your beliefs. Because if you don't go out there and get out of that comfort zone that you're in sometimes, uh, you know, you might st you might just cling to that idea of life, where you know everybody does it. It's uh, nobody really pursues their dreams, nobody really goes for this stuff because they're afraid of failure. They're afraid of that uncertainty. They don't know if they're going to succeed or fail. Um, and you know, we cling to this existence of you know, go to school, go to college, get job, get married, two kids, you know, average homestead, whatever, uh, comfortable living and then retire that you know what I mean that is kind of this stereotypical idea of life and I wonder why we make such a stereotypical idea of life it's because it works people know that that style of life works it might not be the best but they're secure they're safe everything is fine there's nothing to put to chance unless the universe goes against you you know what I'm saying guys and I don't know some people that's a content way of life and if that is what they really want that's great but for me I don't really want that. I, I'm following kind of, I know this might sound stupid, but I'm kind of following my dream here with doing YouTube and stuff. I love being entertaining and I love uh, this whole YouTube thing, this entertain, you know, not, not just YouTube specific, but I'm following that. And there's a lot of uncertainty and fear that comes with it, but I enjoy it. So anyways, guys, thank you very much. Uh, again, remember guys, with just sometimes just go out there and live a little. So um, not, I'm not saying YOLO, don't be stupid. You know, follow your heart, but take your brain with you. There you go. Advice. Um, anyways, guys, have an amazing day. If you have a topic for next Team Fortress Friday, post it in the comments below. Uh, nothing political or religious, please. I even go through past episodes, so uh, make sure to you know check all that out. Um, yeah, thank you all for your support. Thank you all so much, and have a very spooky Halloween. <laughs> anyways, guys, see you later. Have an awesome day, and have a fun time. Later.